What's up guys, I thought I would make a video covering the main things or the big things that were announced in the recent live stream from the JMods on what is coming in the beginning of 2023. Not to mention, they have also announced the new skill, which of course is going to be Necromancy. Necromancy has been announced and so we are going to be talking about the things that are coming in this and then also at the end we'll discuss a little bit about what Necromancy could possibly bring to the game. So hopefully you all enjoy the video, if you didn't catch the live stream I hope it is of use to you. But otherwise, let's get into this and let's talk about what is coming, the big things that are coming early next year. So the first thing that is coming early next year is going to be the Raptors Rampage. This is a Wars Retreat event where you will be able to talk to Raptor each day through the duration of this event and you will be able to give yourself a buff when you go in to kill a boss. Now, when you kill this boss, what's going to happen is you get three rolls on the rare drop table instead of just the one. This is them taking a look at maybe possibly changing or making fixes towards the current rare drop tables and how rare drops work in bossing. This will be a one kill a day thing you can't do this more than once a day and it was only going to be for a limited amount of time obviously in game at the moment we currently have people who are going ridiculously dry at these certain bosses and so this is them taking a look at addressing that issue that being said this does seem to me like a very interesting way to tackle it uh, and i am interested in seeing how it goes the jmods did specifically clarify that this is them just running an event and also using it to experiment they're not specifically using it as something that this is going to be a, a current like come like a constant change in the future this is just an event that they're using as a bit of an experiment as well so you will be able to take advantage of this and it is a daily thing which is a little bit little bit meh that you have to log in every day to do it but to get one boss kill it is pretty interesting mod jack then also went on to explain that of course this does actually add a little bit of an interesting thing to the game which i completely agree with and it is quite nice to see when you are using this, you are going to want to be taking advantage of it in the best way that you possibly can. For example, if you are someone who can kill Zamorak at high enrage, you are going to now have a reason to kill the boss on the highest enrage that you possibly can, rather than farming out the most efficient way to kill it. This is obviously a good thing for the game in my opinion, and I do hope that this sort of idea does stay and stick around in the future if they are using this in the experiment to maybe consider adding that. Obviously, with the way Zamorak works, the higher the enrage is the more chance of getting a good drop that you do have but if you are farming the boss for a full hour or many hours on end you want to be doing a slightly lower enrage or there's a sweet spot of enrage that you would normally kill this boss over and over again to get yourself the best chance for the best amount of kills per hour that you get However, if you are going to be doing one kill, even if it's just one kill per day, you are going to have a reason to go out there and push yourself as much as you can to get yourself that absolute best chance of taking advantage of this buff. So I do like the buff overall. I do think it's a little bit interesting on how it is going to be implemented and we'll see what happens with it. But personally, I do like the idea of adding that sort of thought process into PVM. And also I do think it is a great thing to reward the people who have put like hundreds and thousands of hours into practicing and being able to kill these things at higher end rage. Because personally, I can't kill Zamorak at these stupidly high end rages, for example. But I do still understand the fact that if someone's put that much time and effort into learning and getting better at it, then they deserve it. And that's how it works. But everybody gets access to this. This is a great thing. And I'm very interested to see how it goes. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on this is. Of course, there's going to be maybe some effect on the economy. We'll have to see what happens. I guess in one way you could look at this as when you kill one boss, you're basically getting what you would get if you killed the boss three times uh, in one go so maybe it will affect the economy uh, decently maybe it won't we'll have to see what happens i don't see it being a huge deal and of course i'm pretty sure that we can say that the j mods have probably put quite a lot of thought into how it is going to affect the economy so there's probably no need to panic or overreact in this sense from this anyway the next things that the j mods clarified on was fort for in three Fort 3 and 3 has been mentioned in the news post recently in the clues that they were sort of releasing to the community and we had to find out about it and everybody was speculating is this a player on Fort? Is this a player on Castle? Is this going to be that sort of thing? However, on the stream today, they did confirm that this was going to be a major part in the future storyline in terms of questing and all that sort of stuff. But it is also a new way to train construction. Construction will be able to be leveled from level 1 here and it will go all the way up to 99, I do believe. But they did say it won't be reaching level 120. The fort will be unlocked after you complete a mini quest and then once you've done that, you'll have access to start building up the fort. Once you've done this and as you progress through it, it does seem like they will be releasing quests and stories attached to this and then in the future, they also plan to add extra buildings to it as well. 
I do expect that the buildings in this will have some benefits for the player as well, and it's not just going to be build it up so it looks nice and pretty. It is probably going to have some very good uses uh, in the future as well. So you are going to want to be working towards this, as it does seem like it is going to be a fairly important part of the game, especially considering the story is going to be kind of coming out of this in the near future. So this to me is pretty interesting, and I am interested in finding out whether this is just going to be the new way of leveling construction, or if it's just going to be a new way that you can, and it doesn't necessarily it completely remove any use for anything else in the, in the rest of the game but this is what this is going to be it is not a player on fort it is nothing like that nothing player owned at all it is going to be um an actual fort that you are going to be building and it is a construction sort of extra skilling method sort of thing mod zero also did mention that they are going to be including some other characters from around the game in this as well to make the story a lot more interesting it does seem rather interesting for me and i actually am not a huge law person even so if it's interesting for me then i'm sure that you guys Guys who are very into lore are probably quite looking forward to finding out what is going to be going on with it. Do let me know in the comments what your thoughts on all of this sort of stuff is. I am very interested in hearing about them. Anyway, let's move on to the final thing, which of course is going to be necromancy, which has been announced for 2023. So right at the end of the stream, the JMods left us with a cliffhanger. They left us with an announcement of what the new skill was, but they did also say that they have thought of all the questions that will be asked and all of the people that are going to want to know this and that and all the theory and stuff behind it. But they also said they weren't going to be answering any of that until they returned early next year. So they left us with exactly what you're seeing on screen right now. There was just text on screen that showed an animation and it showed us with the ending result of necromancy with runescape so we are going to be getting a new skill and it absolutely is going to be necromancy now while not really a whole lot has been announced or talked about or mentioned in any way whatsoever for this skill i guess we can kind of understand that this is probably going to be something to do with the undead of course but how it will be included into the game i am really not quite sure as of anything right now we will be getting more information on the necromancy skill in the near future and i may make a separate video discussing about this and maybe theorizing stuff once we've talked about it with more people as well uh, in the near future where we can just just literally talk full on theory about what's going to happen with this if you think that would be interesting then let me know in the comments we can maybe start up a live stream and we can do it on stream and then we can just sort of either edit that stream up into something more interesting or just pull away any information and then go from there but either way i am very excited to see what necromancy is going to be bringing to the game whether it affects combat in specific ways or whether it is going to be a more sort of skilling focused skill i do believe it will probably likely affect combat in some way um but again i have no real idea whether it's going to be debuffs whether it's going to be summoning uh, undead sort of things taking advantage of that sort of stuff or a new spell book maybe i really don't know but all the same this is probably one of the most interesting ways that i could see a skill develop into the game and i am very excited to see it come into the game so what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments too otherwise there's not a whole lot more to talk about for this video so if you did enjoy if you did find it useful having the information brought to you like this if you did miss the stream then i will also link the stream in the description down below but please do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and i will catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye